loves, today we are doing a declutter and organizing of my handbag collection. I'm going to be moving soon and I figured it was a good time to just like go through my collection and decide to get rid of some things. I already have some things up on my story highlights that are for sale and I've already sold a few things. Let me know if you would prefer like a vlog sale or something like that or if you just prefer shopping on like Instagram and buying that way. So. Let me know what you like, but today, just before I move, um, I want to go through everything and decide what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna bring with me. And, you know, I think I go between wanting to have a more minimal curated collection to, you know, loving handbags. And I know that like, I always end up regretting certain handbags after I've let them go. So it might be tough for me and some of them I might, keep as a I'm not sure yet because soon or maybe already by the time this video is up if you're based in the UAE you'll be able to rent items from my closet from best kept shared it's a peer-to-peer -peer renting platform now this is not you know sponsored by them but I'm letting you know because I did join up to be part of their launch and have my items to be able to be rented there not as like an influencer kind of thing but more as you know, um, someone who has designer items and I'm looking to be more sustainable and renting them out. And other people getting use out of, especially like occasion dresses that I use very rarely. I think it's a good way to make a step towards sustainability. So some of the handbags I might be putting like on rent but keeping until I really decide um, if I wanna let them go or not. If you're in renting from my closet, I will have links below. It'll be handbags, clothes, shoes, and accessories. So even if you're not my size, um, I will have tons of accessories there that you can rent. This is gonna be a quick one. We're not going to Marie Kondo this and take everything out and put everything back in because I just don't have time for that. I'm leaving for the US for a month and then as soon as I get back, I'm moving. So it's quite crazy. I don't know when in my upload schedule this video goes up, but maybe some of these things have already happened. Make sure you're following me on Instagram to see, you know, like what's really going on in my life. I keep you updated on stories. So I'm just gonna go like shelf by shelf. I've got all of my handbags in two locations, some in the cupboard and some in my handbag closet. So we're just gonna go shelf by shelf and kind of like decide. And then I'll just have a quick little rejuge of my handbag cupboards, the closet. I'm not gonna really bother redoing because we're just about. So we're gonna start with this closet. Excuse the mess up there that's just kind of storage. I added these little pull out trays and then I have some of my bigger bags here. So we're just gonna start through, I think, the pull out tray. So this one is mostly just like my clutches and little evening bags. I don't really think there's anything to get rid of here. These are just kind of very occasional use bags. I'm not getting too much use out of these right now because I don't really have events to go for, but um, most of them are quite affordable bags and I like my event bags to be a little more affordable. So I'll just keep them because there's really no point in selling them. Now in this drawer, I've got some of my like bags from high school and some other bags. I put my Chloe's here because they're really just winter bags only, but I have decided to sell this one. I think it's up on the highlight already but I'll just take it out because we will look at the pile at the end but I think everything else is staying because really these are just bags from memories this was a juicy bag I had in like middle school high school and like these Dooney and Burke bags this one was my mom's but she was gonna get rid of it so I was like no I have to keep this for memories so because we had these kind of coordinating bags together and then this one I had in middle school look at this little Paul Frank and Hello Kitty like how funny is that and these are just some vintage coach bags. This was my mom's, this was mine in high school. So these are just kind of bags to keep in storage. And in the new place, I'll have like a cabinet to put them in that's kind of just tucked away for like my bags that have memories to them. Now we move up here, that is my keep all. I store it up and down like this and it's fully stuffed with extra dust bags so it's a great way to store those as well. So there's no sagging in the bottom because I've really stuffed out the bottom. Um, this was my first ever designer handbag, my Marc Jacobs Buller bag. I am not a red person, you guys know that, but back in high school, our school colors were red and blue, and I was very into red then. So that's why I got red as my first bag, and I will never sell that, that's just there for memories. I go back and forth about my Celine, you know, but I can't even rent this one because it's got a big green stain on it, so I just don't know what to do about this one. It's really a great bag, and from the front, it's really good, so I think I should keep it. 
because I feel like bigger bags go in and out. I am going to get rid of this Senrev, so let me just open this up. This is the midi size, and I've already bought the mini size in the same color to replace it. I think I just bought the wrong size for me. This one is more if you have a commute and you have more things to carry with you. As a travel bag, the mini is just enough for me because you can fit a small bottle of water and like everything I would need as a tourist in the city. So I went ahead and bought the mini one, and so now I'm going to get rid of the midi size because I think it would just be better served in someone else's wardrobe. I love it, but the size is just not right for my lifestyle. And then we're back over here. This is a silk Chanel. I'm keeping that for sure. I love that bag. This is a Gucci I painted on. This is also a bag from high school that I've had for ages and it just like didn't look great so I just painted on it and the Valentino I'm keeping, my vintage Louis Vuitton I'm keeping. I'm thinking of getting this restored soon because the leather is just gone. This Marc Jacobs is also kind of for memories so it'll be more out of the way in the next place. These are just some tote bags. This Betsy really served me well. This is my going out bag in university, but I think now I just want to keep it for memories. Cabinet, I think I really failed at getting rid of anything because this is just where I keep all the sentimental kind of things and like the travel kind of bags that really I only use for certain occasions. Even my Louis Vuitton bucket bag is really only a bag that I use for travel. It's not like a daily bag for me. So, okay, not much difference. We've only got two out on the getting rid of pile, but let's move on to my handbag cupboards. Okay, so I'm sorry it's a little bit darker in this corner. I don't want to set up lights because then it like reflects off of this glass and it just doesn't look good in the filming. It's so dark over here because I keep my handbags as far from the window as possible. So let's just kind of get into the first one and we'll go shelf by shelf. So on this shelf, I'm obviously keeping this mini. I'm obsessed with it, keeping my teal. I have decided that I'm going to let this one go because I feel like it's too similar to my pink cocoa handle and I always reach for that. As much as it hurts my heart to sell a Chanel, I think she would be better served in someone else's wardrobe. So I am going to put her in the for sale pile. My tweeds are staying, my classic flap in the pink is staying with the 24 karat gold hardware. I will never ever sell this bag. Now this one, I kind of go back and forth on. I love this bag, but the corners are quite delicate and there's a little bit of wear there and I find myself not using it too often because I'm afraid of using it um, with, you know, maybe it getting too much wear. So I don't know, for now I think I should keep her. But let's move on. This is kind of my favorites shelf. I don't think anything is going. Sometimes I think about selling this ostrich Kate Spade, but I just wore it recently and I think it does look really nice. So we just need to kind of re -zhuzh this section now that I've pulled that one out. But let's move down to here because I have my Barbie pink one and I want her up here somewhere. So let's see on this shelf. My vintage Dior saddlebag is staying. This one is staying, not leaving. This is one maybe I could consider letting, oh no, she's so pretty. And it really is a good evening bag, so I think I'll keep that one. This one I just love, this lottery kind of green color is so stunning. This is one of the most beautiful colors I feel in my collection. I haven't gotten too much use out of this one yet. I know I will now that summer is here. The Nile bag is one that is a Chloe that I feel like I'll always have. I think it's just so beautiful and unique that I love it. And this. Saint Laurent in the Indian pink. I definitely need to keep as well because I'm obsessed with this. I am looking to get this in the bigger size and once I find one in good condition, I probably will sell this. Just because I love this color so much, I wanna be able to use it in more situations. That's something that I think maybe I will let go in the future if I find the same color in the bigger size. And now let's move down here. There is a Senrev in the mini size. Much better for my wardrobe. Keeping this one, Givenchy. Sometimes I think of selling this, to be honest, and then I'm like, no, absolutely not. Look at that color. And my Neverfull is obviously staying. This is like one of my favorite bags. It even has stuff in it because I was just using it. Now let's move down to here. So this bag is for travel, so it doesn't get much use. Maybe I can move that into the cupboard. Let's see. I love this double pouch that's staying. This one is staying. 
Now this guy, oh, it's like stuck to it. Thing is, is I love this. It was an artist collaboration with Populisium, I think is how you say it, I'm not sure. And the only thing is, is because this is like a fake leather, it's like getting sticky and yeah, and the even the inside is sticky, so I can't even really like use this. It's more of a display item now, so I don't know what to do about it because it is really cute. I really do want to use this more. I think it's cute, but I think maybe I'll have to get the inside repaired. Let me just kind of tilt that so it doesn't stick. Um, these guys are staying. This one's staying. This is one that I'm debating on. You know, I just hardly ever reach for this one. This bag had its moment. Is it over? I don't know. Maybe this one we will put in the maybe pile. No, I didn't do a very good job with this cabinet either, but that's because my light color bags are the ones that I love the most and that I use the most, and this is the most me cabinet. So let's move over to the second one. This top shelf is a little tough. I continue to kind of go back and forth on this one, the maybe pile. Now, this is another one. I'm actually thinking of possibly selling. I think I'll put this on the site for rental until I decide. You know, ever since I got my crystal re-edition, I just find that I like this shape more and this is more special and I wear it with the same types of outfits. Like these I really only wear with like athleisure. I think, actually, I think I'm gonna put this one on rental for now until I decide because it is a good bag. Maybe I just haven't gotten the chance to really use it yet. I think it would be a good travel bag. Maybe I'll take it on my trip and see if I like really fall in love with this one. This one's staying, this one's staying, this one's staying. Um, I know these are not like in style bags right now, but they're bags I really love. Oh, this shelf. This one is where we're gonna start getting rid of some things. I think I'm gonna let go of my two Giacomo's little vanities because I did, it's sitting in the US, maybe you've seen it on my IG by now, but I did get a Le Chiquito. I just think that I'm gonna use that more because the cards fit in it and a lipstick fits in it, so I think these two, it's time to go. I love their long chains, but let me put them in the other pile. The Saint Laurent and the Chanel's are staying for sure. The pearl bag is staying for sure. This is such a great statement evening bag. Here is where we get into it. So I love the Gucci. That's a really great going out bag. I'm definitely keeping that. This one, it's one of my favorite shapes. It's one of my favorite bags actually, but I don't know if beige is me, and I think maybe if I got this in a bold color, I would use it even more. What do you guys think? Should I keep the beige, because this is my only beige bag, or should I sell this and maybe get a different color, because I definitely want this bag in my collection, but I'm just not sure on this color. And on this side, I'm thinking I might list this little guy. It's cute as a bag charm. I think it would just go to a better home if I sold it and it has a bracelet strap inside. It's been kept very well. Maybe I'll put this for sale and see if it sells and or I'll put it on the rental. One I love, this was a birthday present so I'm going to keep that. I do definitely want to get a bigger bag in the Saint Laurent color. Now that I have this color in my collection, I've always loved it, but now that I have this one in my collection, I know I want like a daily use style in this color, so I think maybe once I get a bigger one, I might keep this as a wallet to be honest because this is a really great card holder wallet, and then I also have the mini bag as well. So. Um, I think it's staying for now, but I am on the hunt for a bigger style in this color. Let's move down here. My Sen Rev is so good for travel, and I love this croc emboss. It's my only croc emboss, so I'm definitely keeping that. The Fendi Baguette, I'm keeping. The Chanel Nylon, which you guys are always trying to get me to sell. It's staying. Sorry. The gray Chanel is staying. This is really good fall winter bag. I didn't really travel this past fall winter, so it didn't get a lot of use, but when I travel, this is a really great bag. My Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse is staying, my Balenciaga City is staying, my Prada Island is staying, so that shelf is pretty much staying the same. And my White Sun Rev Mini is staying for sure, and my Chloe Faye Backpack, those are both staying. This is kind of my travel bag shelf. My on the go usually goes here. It's staying as well. It's just packed and ready for my trip. I'm gonna leave a place for it here. I think I will keep this ARC bag because if I am going to go for like an ARC style, this bigger one is good. This Supreme bag, this would be so cute for my like athleisure and like sportswear kind of outfits, but since I have the Chanel nylon, I kind of go for that, so I think I might actually sell the Supreme. 
Um, I'll have to ask Ronnie because he's very like sentimental over our Supreme collection. We share a lot of the pieces like the t-shirts and stuff. That one to the side. This Fendi strap I bought to go on my medium Balenciaga City in beige, which I also have up for sale. So I'm gonna keep the strap for a little while because I think it's really versatile because of all the colors and it doesn't say Fendi big anywhere so I can wear it with many different bags. But right now, I actually don't have a bag in mind that I would really wear this with. Maybe I need to play around and style this some and see how it goes. These are all like larger clutches and like occasion bags with the peacock on it, the Kate Spade, I love that one. So I think these are all staying, they're just kind of gently stacked because they're very lightweight. But let's give this kind of a redo makeover kind of a thing. So I got rid of a few more in here, not too many. Maybe one day I'll be able to like fully curate and be ruthless, but I'm just so attached to my bags, you guys. So this is kind of where we are right now. And let's get to reorganizing. Here is the final look. No, I know it's not like super perfect, but we're moving soon anyways. And I think this is a good rejuge. I kept my Chanel's up here. I did my pink Chanel's here that are bigger ones. Then kind of like rainbow pink and green bags. I moved the Kate Spade down over here. I decided the Senrev bag is gonna go in the other closet. And then I moved the Dior down here because it's quite um, an occasional bag. Same with the Chloe Nile. Over here, I kept it pretty much the same. I moved the beige one up here in the empty space. I moved the Dior down here because I very rarely use it. also decided to keep this pink bag. I put it over here because I figured, you know, it's a good summer bag when I'm traveling and I want a statement bag and I just want to take something that's like carefree. My on the go will go here. It's just, again, packed and I don't want to put it on here like full of stuff. These are glass shelves. Uh, this shelf has pretty much stayed mostly the same. I moved my Prada over here. I thought this gave it a little more importance versus it being like shopped over on that side. Here is the final look. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Let me see if I can show you together. Here is the final look. Again, this is gonna change really soon because we're moving, so this is just for now and I think it looks pretty good. Here's everything I've decided to sell. They listed on my Instagram stories. I'm not sure if they will have sold or not by the time this video goes up, but I will be listing all of these bags and if you are interested or you want me to do a vlog sale, just let me know in the comments because maybe a vlog sale is easier. I don't know, I've never done one. So just let me know how you guys like to shop for the pre-love bags. So much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. If you are interested in any of the bags that I'm selling, plus I have a few more that were not in this video that I decluttered before that are just still like up for sale, check those out over on my Instagram highlights and let me know if a vlog sale would be better. You can also film one of those and you know put it up if that would be an easier way to shop. Just let me know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where you see how I style on my bags in my daily life and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!